Yay! Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do consistent Bible reading every day. Today we are going to look at Genesis chapter 35. This is the story of what happens after the brothers of Dina kill every person, like every man, not person, kill every man in that land of that Caprins. And then they they take their properties, their children, their wives, everything, and they move away. And Jacob is so angry at them because he's like, if this other neighbors decide to attack me because of what I've done. I will not be able to even to withhold them because there are so many. And chapter 35 now today, we find that God calls Jacob again and tells him to go and offer a sacrifice to him. And you remember that day when he was coming from when he was escaping his brother's wrath and then he slept at Bethel and he saw that vision of God and the angels coming up and down and and he offered a sacrifice there at God and we said that day he told God that if I go and you and you and you are faithful God and you give me food and clothing and you help me that one day I'll return to my father's house then God you'll be my God free say the name of the living God and that is what he said and we've seen now that God is so faithful that even him he's saying that when I was crossing this river God I just had a staff in my hand but right now I'm coming back with two companies and he's so happy and so when God told him come Come and offer me a, a sacrifice. Come and build me an altar. He told his household, put away your gods. Purify yourself. Come with me. Let's go and uh, offer a sacrifice to this God of mine who has been there for me. Praise God. This tells us that when we enter into the presence of God, when we are coming into the presence of God, that we should purify ourselves. Uh, forgive each other. Put away your foreign gods. Your gods may be even your academics. Your gods may be your that person you you then you just treasure most than even God Himself. Like if I just get this person, I'll be okay. <laughs> no way. Put away these gods. God is calling you today. Put away these gods. God is calling you. He's interested in you. Like He called Jacob, and Jacob called his household and told them. Purify yourselves, put away the foreign gods. And these people obeyed. They gave Jacob all the foreign gods that they had. And Jacob, and then they went all the way to Bethel that they may offer their sacrifice. And that place, it was called El Bethel. And, uh, and there, we find that the nurse of Rebecca, she dies. And that place, when she's buried there, they say that that place is called Al Lon Bakul, meaning the place of sorrow. The. the, the yeah, uh, an oak of weeping, sorry, an oak of weeping. She was buried under an oak, and it was called an oak of weeping. And then we find that the story continues about how God tells Jacob that your name now is no longer Jacob. Your name is Israel. And I want to tell you this, when God changes your name, it be, it remains changed. That even Abram, we saw that day in these other earlier chapters, that she used to be called Abram, 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 Abram. But when God changed the name of Abram, it became Abraham. And all the all the other places in the Bible, it is called Abraham, not Abram. And we find this place that also Jacob's name is changed. And God calls him now Israel. And from there, you will find in the word of God, he is referred to as Israel, as Israel. Like when you continue, it is referred to as Israel. And now Israel has met with God. Israel knows God. Israel now has now seen who God is. Praise the name of the living God. And desire to experience God that you reach this place like Israel like Jacob that you've experienced God that you don't just hear about him now you know him you've seen him rescue you from your brother your brother you've seen him rescue you from Laban you've come all the way you've seen God rescue you from the other you know what God did because he knew that this other other people are going to come after Jacob and destroy him because of what the sons did he made the other nations to be found with terror verse 5 and as they journeyed, a terror from God fell upon the cities, so that they could not do what? So that they could not follow after Jacob and destroy him. Imagine, 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 like, I just want you to see how marvelous and how awesome, how amazing God is. Imagine, he just caused a terror to the other cities, so that they don't follow after Jacob and, and whatever, destroy him. Praise the name of the living God. This God is my God. This God is the one I want to live for. May this, may this God be your God. May this God be your Alpha. May this God be your Omega. May this God of Jacob, may this God of Jacob be your God. El Elohe Israel. May this God of God of Israel be your God today. Amen. That he may defend you. That he may fight for you. That he may win those battles and conquer them for you. Praise the name of the living God. And we find that also in this chapter, Rachel dies and he calls the child what? He calls the child son of sorrow. But what does the Jacob do? He changes the name and calls the son Benjamin. 
son of the south. Praise the name of the living God. I don't know what you are called when you're born, but you have you you can your name can be changed amen yes and i love you so much and in the, at the end of this chapter jacob is able to go safely back to the father's house offer an altar and sacrifice to god and we find that also isaac dies he breathes his last and full of days and he's joined to his people and is Esau and jacob bury him i love you so much have a fantastic day tomorrow we will look at genesis chapter 36 bye bye